Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the Sultan of Bohra, Mufaddal Saifuddin, and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty the King hailed the efforts of the Sultan of Bohra in promoting the values of coexistence, peace, and social unity, as well as fighting extremism. His Majesty expressed appreciation of the contributes of the Bohra community to the development process of the kingdom throughout the years. He added that the kingdom throughout history has always been a model for coexistence and solidarity between all religions stressing the kingdom's keenness to strengthen dialogue with all cultures and civilizations. His Majesty stated that Bahrain has many achievements in the field of dialogue, serving humanity and encouraging religious and intellectual freedoms. For his part, the Sultan of Bohra expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his recognition and support to the Bohra community, hailing the hospitality and tolerance of the Bahraini society.
On the occasion of the official inauguration ceremony for the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, Ismad Sikh King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa affirmed in a recorded speech that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to promote peace, tolerance and coexistence in the world, calling upon all to contribute to the achievement of world peace. His Majesty said that the Chair will provide the necessary knowledge and inspiration in the field of peaceful coexistence, adding that the expertise of the Sapienza University, which was established in 1303 in Rome will contribute to achieving this vision. His Majesty added that everyone can contribute to the success of this mission for peace. He noted that the new academic majors will introduce specialized religious, historic and cultural studies focusing on interfaith dialogue. His Majesty greeted the staff of the university headed by President Professor Eugenio Godeo and the founder of the university, Professor Antonelli Biagini, Professor Pascal Sajor and the the students of the university and wish them success. For his part, the chairman of the board of trustees of King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed pride in launching his Nazi the King Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Coexistence Studies. He affirmed his faith that knowledge, education, and culture are the basis for stability and prosperity. He asserted that the values and principles of tolerance and coexistence have always been the main component of the country's general policies, freedom of belief, and respecting differences, adding that His Majesty the King has developed the values of tolerance and coexistence through global achievements. He stated that the kingdom has made many achievements since 2001, adding that he is witness to the kingdom's success in its global efforts to achieve peace and spread the values of tolerance, coexistence, countering ignorance, extremism, and terrorism. For her part, the second deputy of the chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence, President of This is Bahrain, Betsy Matheson, stated that King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Coexistence is a new academic program that can fulfill the modern requirements, especially in the current circumstances. She noted the importance of supporting and empowering the youth, adding that, based on the philosophy of His Majesty and the declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain, she expressed confidence that the King Hamad Chair will serve as a guide on the right path for students and guide them to noble values. In a statement, the Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, hailed the royal speech of His Majesty the King on the occasion of the official inauguration ceremony of the King Hamad Chair. He noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty, will remain a country of peace and stability and supports the establishment of dialogue between religions and peaceful coexistence. He noted that the ministry is always working on translating the vision of the royal directives in the curricula and in educational activities to turn these values into behavior and practice within the outside the school. The academic chair guides the trains young researchers in the fields of history, contemporary interfaith relations and religious pluralism with special emphasis on history and religious minorities. These studies, training and research group are centered on peaceful coexistence existence. Following the launch of the King Hamad Chair at La Sapienza University, This is Bahrain held an event bringing together a number of people from across the world with different religions interacting together as part of the Interfaith Dialogue Principle. More on this report with Muhammad Youssef. During His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's speech on the occasion of launching the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence, he affirmed the importance of reaching out to the hearts and minds of young people to create a new generation fully aware of the importance of values of accepting and mutual respect. As you can hear in the background tonight, we're joined by around five to 600 people who are here to celebrate um, this is a, the first type of its kind in the world, King Hamad Chair, and it's been so wonderfully received. This document, the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, written by our King, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, is the foundation for this new degree program for bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and PhDs. And people from around the world will be studying not just His Majesty's words, His Majesty's philosophy, and his vision for a, a world that is filled with love and hope and brotherhood and sisterhood and free from hate and violence. 
This is Bahrain brings together people from all over the world with different religions and faiths, which proves the Kingdom of Bahrain's commitment to enhance the value of international peace and coexistence. It's an important moment for everyone that here in Rome now there will be a possibility to work together in uh, coexistence, in peace and in dialogue. Uh, two years ago, the uh, delegation of This is Bahrain came to visit the synagogue of the Jewish community of Rome. It was a really important moment. We need a moment like this. We need to work together and to find solutions to speak to dialogue and to create moments to understand everyone uh, in the, the different religion. Most of our job is about putting people together and an event like this is, is like an exclamation mark of uh, bringing you know, the, the ideas that represents Bahrain, the ideas that uh, King Hamid has put forward um, every single day, that peaceful coexistence, that people will be able to overcome any hurdle as long as they can communicate and dialogue with each other. So bringing people today, you know, in honor of the, the chair of uh, King Hamid at uh, Sapienza University here is an absolute, uh, uh, not only what's needed and a necessity, um, but it's also a thrill to be able to see it come alive. I was invited to this event um, and I am very glad to uh, uh, participate in it. Um, I think the idea itself is a very um, um, excellent idea. Interfaith dialogue is a concept that we really need in our uh, region. If we understand the core of uh, every single religion, that is the core of every single religion, to coexist with each other, and to uh, respect each other and to understand that uh, in order to be a very good um, religion uh, person all you have to do is to be a very good contributor to the society and that in itself is being a very good religion person. I'm very very honored to be here. I've been a student of Professor Saggioro. I'm very proud of my professor because I studied with him uh, interfaith dialogue with a final uh, degree on interreligious dialogue between Abrahamitic religions. So I share every word of uh, His Majesty and I'm very happy to be here. Now I'm working uh, in an interreligious dialogue to many Italian schools in which I try to um, uh, raise up the awareness about religious pluralism. Ever since the declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Los Angeles, Bahrain has been the solid base for religious freedom and peaceful coexistence, which contributed greatly to the continuous success of This is Bahrain events. People from all around the world gather here today with different religions and different faiths as the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to prove that we all can live together in harmony, love and mutual respect. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. On the sidelines of the inauguration of King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at the Sapienza University, the ambassador of Kuwait to Italy, Sheikh Ali Al Khalid Al Sabah, hosted a luncheon in honor of the delegation of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and This is Bahrain Association. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, valued the efforts and support of the Kuwaiti ambassador to the project since its inception. He also presented a commemorative gift to the Kuwaiti ambassador in recognition of his efforts. The second deputy chairman of the board of trustees of the King Hamad Center, Betsy Matheson, also presented a gift to the ambassador from This is Bahrain Association. For his part, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, and the president of the University of Bahrain, Professor Riyad Hamza, presented a gift to the ambassador on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of education in Bahrain. The Supreme Islamic Affairs Council, the SCIA, congratulated today His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa over the official launch of the King Hamad Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence in La Sapienza University in Rome, Italy. The council convened today, chaired by President of the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abd Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The council pointed out that the launch of this chair confirms the leading civilizational role of His Majesty the King and 
and the Kingdom of Bahrain in promoting Islamic and Arab values of dialogue and peaceful coexistence as the basis for robust and cohesive peaceful and loving communities to in prevalent security and stability. The Council also commended the outcomes of the Government Forum 2018 held last week under the auspices of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa upon the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressing that such forums promote the values of cooperation and synergy in national work, encourage further efforts in the service of the Kingdom and its people, as well as accelerate the momentum of national development in harmony with the reforms initiated and led by His Majesty the King. The Council urged all citizens to effectively participate on November the 24th in the nationwide municipal and parliamentary elections by turning up to the polling stations and casting their ballots by choosing the best, honest and most efficient representative to contribute in the nation's progress and serve the citizens' welfare. The Council noted the large candidacy numbers that confirm the keenness on Bahrain's successful democratic experience and its enrichment. The Council called on the candidates to uphold the noble moral ethics, religious principles and patriotic spirits, safeguard our strong national unity and social bonds by avoiding agitation while campaigning. As part of its efforts to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain in international markets, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, BTEA, announced its participation in the World Travel Market Exhibition, which attracts all interested travel and tourism professionals from all over the world. BTEA Chief Executive Officer Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa said that Bahrain's participation showcases the attractive elements Bahrain has in the global markets in line with the strategy to strengthen the local tourism sector. Bahrain Bahrain will showcase its rich cultural heritage, its booming tourist landscape as it seeks to improve visitors' accommodation by opening 28 new facilities by 2021. The BTEA's participation is part of its long-term strategy to develop the tourism sector which focuses on promoting Bahrain at the regional and global levels. In implementation of the Financial Balance Program in the Voluntary Retirement Initiative, the Civil Service Bureau, the CSB, in cooperation with the Ministry of Finance and the Public Authority for Social Insurance, held the second induction meeting during which they reviewed the operational time plan for the optional retirement program and the responsibilities of government agencies, which was attended by human resources officials in ministries and government agencies. The deadline for submission of the optimal retirement application will be on Thursday, November the 8th. The list will then be sorted out by the CSB, then sent to government agencies to receive the replies by November the 28th. The lists and recommendations will be submitted to the Civil Service Council to approve the employee's application and complete procedures and replies by November the 28th. The lists and recommendations will be submitted to the Civil Service Council to approve the employee's application and complete the procedures and then will be passed to the relevant authorities on December the 23rd. During the meeting, it was emphasized that the employee's decision to apply for voluntary retirement should not be affected by his government agency. The ministries and government agencies were instructed to provide the necessary assistance to the employees regarding their inquiries about the program. It was also noted that the responsibility of government agencies is to adhere to the deadlines for the executive plan and verify the amounts owed to employees and to introduce the years of virtual service required to be purchased for employees by human resources in government agencies through the Public Authority for Social Insurance website at the request of the employee. It should also be noted that the age pension reduction rate is not applicable to this program. Citizens hailed the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to find prompt solutions to improve the traffic flow on main roads in the kingdom, among which is opening an exit that connects Aburi village to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road. The Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning has recently opened an exit to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Road to ease the traffic flow in the region, fulfilling the residents' desire to arrive to commercial and residential areas easily. 
In light of its efforts to preserve marine resources, the Agency of Agriculture and Marine Resource in the Ministry of Works, Municipality Surveys and Urban Planning stated that the fishing monitoring teams recorded nine violations related to catching small fish in large quantities of more than a half a ton. The agency confirmed that in this regard, it has seized and frozen the nine licenses as a precautionary step until administrative and legal procedures had been completed. Some of the violations may be referred to the public prosecution for catching large quantities of small fish. Such practices are in clear violation of the provisions of Article 19 of Decree Law No. 20 of 2002 concerning the control of fishing and protection of marine resources which did not permit catching small marine organisms. Such violations are punished by imp imprisonment for a period not exceeding one month at a fine not less than 300 dinars and not exceeding a thousand dinars, either both punishments or one of them.